Well, it's time for another one of our special awards, the Rock Auto Restoration Award. And it's not this. This is kind of like a dinghy to the real award winner, a 1959 Chevrolet Impala that is drop dead gorgeous. I actually found this car in the uh, city right next to me in Hopewell, Virginia. I told him that if he were willing to sell it, that I had interest in it. And it took about four more years to get my hands on it. Now, we had a few man-sized holes in the car. Uh, we knew we had some floor problems, but when we got back to the trunk area, we discovered that the inner fender wells had been duct taped to the trunk floor on both sides. And when we pulled the duct tape off, it had Bondo behind it, and then it had spray bed liner over top of that. By the time we got it all off, a person could actually step through the hole, so we ended up having to find a donor car to get inner fender wells to put in the trunk. It's Inferno Red. Uh, over a pearl white. Uh, we originally had painted the bottom silver and it just blended with the chrome too much so we went back and got some more white and made it a lot brighter and get it to pop. This is what a stock 348 with three deuces looked like. It's in this 1958 Chevrolet Impala. But Don decided to drop a 348 into his 59 and it came out looking like that. It had a 327 when I bought it but it's an original 283 car and uh, I wanted a, a 348 in it, so we hunt one down in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and picked it up and put it in. Now, the speaker for the radio on a 59 Chevy was right up there, so he decided to remove the speaker and set a custom set of gauges. You gonna keep this car, or you gonna sell it? No, it I'm toy. having way too much fun with this, with shows. We've been finished about four years now, and uh, we hit shows just about every weekend. It's gonna stay in the garage and, uh, and continue to enjoy the heck out of that. Well, congratulations, a very deserving winner of our Rock Auto Award. Well, thank you, and I wanna thank Rock Auto. They've done a super job in being able to get me parts over the last four or five years to make this happen, and so uh, thank you, Rock Auto, for that great work.